everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video we have a glossy box unboxing this is april's box i had been unsubscribed to the service for a while but i did get suckered in by a 35 percent off code so i did get this box for six pounds 50 plus shipping there is one item in here that i do know of and for that reason it's why i signed back up because for me the kind of £9.75 I paid in total was worth it to get that one product. So let me show you what is included in this box. Just to mention, if you haven't seen my video which went live on Monday, I have got a giveaway going on at the moment, so be sure to go and check that video out. I will most likely have it linked in the description box and I'll also link it in the cards. So something new ribbon. So this month's theme is Blossom, obviously spring and summer with all the pretty flowers and things. Even just taking this lid off, I'm getting a strong scent of something floral, but it smells quite nice. So let's see what's in here. I will obviously come back to this to go over prices at the end. Also to note, I'm going to try and do this in one take. I used to do these videos live before i lost the capability now you need to have a thousand subscribers to go live which i don't have so i'm trying to do this as sort of one cut without any editing so i can get it up quicker and hoping i'm getting this up on wednesday sticker off. Pretty seamless. okay so i'll start with the product that i'm aware of and this is from the brand avant this is the gentle rose beautifying face exfoliant I really like products from Avant and I know they are quite pricey. I'm in the process of going through a moisturiser, I think it is, or night cream from them at the moment and I am really enjoying it. I don't think I'd appreciated that it was a rose product so I'm hoping it doesn't smell too strongly of rose because I don't mind rose scented, I'm just, I don't absolutely love it. So this was the product that I know how expensive this is so it was kind of worth it for me to say pay the the nine pound for the box and then anything else in here is just a bonus so let's have a look what else we've got we have something from the brand rituals and this is the softening rice scrub I've tried a few things from rituals over in the past few years pretty much most of them have come from glossy box to be honest and they've just been okay I know they are a really popular skincare brand and for me it has always been an issue with the scent so it depends on what this does smell like. Let me just have a see if I can smell through the packaging. Yeah, this is actually a thing I could smell when I open the box and this does actually smell really nice. It's kind of like a cotton fresh with a hint of floral sort of scent to it. So I presume it is just like a kind of body scrub. Yeah, exfoliate the body. So I might use this to be honest. I was thinking that this might sort of go straight into a giveaway, but I think I'm going to give this a go because it does smell really nice. And I've currently been using a body exfoliator that I got from Sol de Janeiro, which has got the traditional uh, Brazilian Boom Boom cream scent. And I've been really enjoying using that, but I'm actually coming towards the end of it. So I might sort of use this in replacement. So that's an item I wasn't expecting to like, but we'll see how I get on with it. Then we have a nail varnish from Nails Inc and this is in the shade Blossom Kisses. I do have quite a few nail varnishes in this shade but I do quite like this sort of tone of pink. It's not bright fuchsia pink, it's kind of more of a muted pink. So I'm excited to see what this one's like. I haven't had the best of luck with the Nails Inc polishes in this bottle. Actually now I think about it, this polish that I'm wearing now is Nails Ink, but it's in their rounder bottles. The ones that are in this, this shape I find don't last as long compared to the ones that are in the sort of round shape bottles. Although I did learn, I think it was on actually Glossy Box's Instagram, you're supposed to take the lids off these. If I can take the lid off, there we go. And you're supposed to be able to rest your finger on it like that to paint your polish. So that's quite a good idea. And of course I get a phone call mid filming. So this is technically two takes. I'm gonna have to splice the two parts of videos together, but I'm determined to not edit because that's what I used to do. So I was talking about the lid of this being how you can put your finger on it to apply your polish. And say so I think that is a really good idea. 
and I had always thought when I'd sort of, oh, I can't do it again now, pulled the lid off like that, that I'd done it by mistake. I never thought that that was how it was supposed to be. And I'm a few times now have kind of put nail polish on my pants when I've been painting, resting my hand on my knee. So that will be really handy to do and say it's a really pretty colour. I just have had better luck with the other style polishes rather than the ones in this shade bottle. But I'm keen to give it a go. And I suppose with it being a shade like this, it's not as obvious when it does chip because my natural nails underneath are pink. So this is another good one to have. Then we have from Sport FX a Raspberry and Rhubarb Recovery Lip Balm. This is so needed right now. I am suffering so badly with dry lips. I've been constantly applying lip oils and lip balms at the moment. I don't know if it's being inside more or I, I'm not too sure what it is, but this is definitely much needed. So it says it contains vitamins C, E and F, natural ingredients, SPF 15, which is great for them sitting in the garden, paraben free, vegan friendly and cruelty free. I do like things that are both raspberry and rhubarb scented, but I can't say that I've ever smelt them together. So this is like those, is it EOS lip balms, which I've never had one before, but oh, that smells amazing. That reminds me of something. That reminds me of something when I was younger, like some sort of scented kid's toy or something like that. But that smells really, really nice. Um, so I'm excited to give that one a go. And say that will be handy having the SPF in it as well, especially because at the moment we're having slightly nicer weather. And I don't think any of my other lip balms I've been using have got SPF in, so I might even be breaking into this one tomorrow. So excited about that. I think is Sport FX the same brand as Cover FX? I'm not too sure, but and then I thought this was the final product. Yep, so this is a sheet mask from Sanctuary Spa and this is a Nourishing Rose Petal Hydrogel Mask for replenishing rescue skin treatment with skin calming rose, antioxidant pomegranate extracts and repairing amino acids. So this seems like rather large packaging but this seems quite nice. Hopefully it doesn't smell too strongly of rose and it smells a bit more of sort of the pomegranate and things like that and it should be okay. I didn't know Sanctuary Spa did she masks to be honest I've tried numerous things from over the past few years and I quite like what I've tried I just know they are slightly pricier but yeah keen to give this one a go and I am a huge lover of sheet masks so let's just put everything back in here so overall I think I'll use every product there which is a good thing so let's go over the details in here. First of all, just to say what the sneak peek is going to be for May. Uh, this is an eyeshadow palette from the brand Steve Laurent. This is a brand that I know featured quite heavily in subscription boxes, but it looks like quite a nice palette. I haven't decided yet whether to cancel or keep on going because I recently got notified that the pick and mix samples from Feel Unique have been temporarily stopped. This might be something that I might keep on for a couple of months just to kind of keep my interest going because I do like getting sort of bundles of things each month and um, with the pick and mix service having been stopped and also the beauty kit one. Say so it would be nice to have something like this. What I'm actually planning on doing is still doing a video on the pick and mix service but I'm just going to go over my thoughts on the products that I tried last month which is what I usually do at the beginning of those videos anyway. So what I'll probably just do is do a roundup of the beauty kit samples and the pick mix samples that I got in my last packages from them. Say because I still do like to keep you updated on the things that I've tried and I think I have pretty much tried everything so might as well do a follow up to it and fingers crossed things start to get back to normal soon and normal services resume. But back to the glossy box. So the first thing mentioned here is the nail polish and this says RRP is £11. I do agree with that. I think they are £11. I think these ones that I have are about £6. So these are supposedly the better ones. It says that the formula is supposed to last up to 10 days, but I've never experienced that. But if I get a week out of my nail polish, I'm quite happy with that. Then we have the face exfoliant from Avant. 
and this is £92. This is probably the second or third product I've tried from the brand now. I think I've had a primer, the moisturiser I've been using and now this. All of them I think have come from Glossy Box and it's never a brand I'm going to purchase from because I would never spend that on any sort of skincare. That's kind of even higher than some Drunk Elephant products but it's nice to have it and I've paid £9 for it plus a few other things. Then we have the lip balm, so this says RRP 4 99 because I've had raspberry and rhubarb which we got or coconut. I do love coconut scented things but I do have a lot of coconut scented things at the moment so I think raspberry and rhubarb will be a nice change and it does smell nice and summery and fresh. Then we have the shower scrub which is a deluxe mini. The previous three products were full sizes, I'm going to say this one's a deluxe mini. So this says deluxe mini is worth £4.60 for 70ml, the full size is £1.50 for £9.90. I do love when they do the breakdown that they do tell you how much the actual item you've received is worth and not just give you the full price, that is really handy. And then finally we have the sheet mask from Sanctuary Spa which is full size and this is £7.50. I know Sanctuary Spa aren't a cheap brand but £7.50 for one individual sheet mask is more than I would ever tend to pay. I think the most I've ever paid is about £5 and even then I didn't really want to spend that so let's see how good it is for £7.50. But overall this is the items that I've received in this box. I think I'm probably going to use every item there which is good and I think I will definitely get my sort of £9.75 worth. I just need to make the decision before the 14th of the month because I've been strung by that before whether to cancel or carry on. If I do carry on, I'm probably going to sign up for three months because you can usually get a good deal when you sign up for three months at a time and it's not too much of an investment. So I'll have a think for a week or so and then I'll decide what to do. But yeah, that is the box and i um, quite happy with that and excited to give all these things a go. If you are interested to signing up to Glossy Box yourself, I do always have a referral link in the description box, which has always been there even when I've not been subscribed and I think that entitles you to 10 or 20% off your first box so if you are interested be sure to check that link out below but no obligation because it is a referral link and I think I do get some sort of credit for it but that is it for today's video if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already thanks